Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. You must probably know the importance to build an audience for your business or your side hustle. Otherwise, you wouldn't have clicked this video. In short, you have to build an audience or an email list to be able to market your products or services to those people. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on building Instagram audience from zero followers. There's a lot of information on YouTube on how to build and grow your audience. They're basically theory-based videos. But in this video, I'm going to put in practice what I've learned. Usually Instagram experts explain to you how to grow your audience on Instagram, but you rarely find step-by-step -step implementation of what is being taught. Here I'm going to go through the strategies that's commonly used by Instagram experts and show you how I implement them on how to grow your audience on Instagram from scratch. I won't have results to show you at this stage, but we'll be reporting them in the coming videos. This step is the first step I'm taking to start multiple streams of income that will earn me $1 million, which I talked about in previous videos. If you are interested to know more, I have added the links in the description below. If you're just starting your entrepreneurial journey like me, I hope you find some of this content useful and most importantly, you implement it. And I almost forgot. I won't ask you to like or subscribe on this channel because I know you will do if you find this content worth it. Growing a real audience organically is extremely hard if you're starting from scratch, with no money and no contact or friends who already have a huge audience to give you a shout out. Well, this is my situation. I don't have any kind of audience. You can see for yourself here on YouTube, I have under 10 subscribers and have no other pages on other social media. If you are in the same boat as I am, maybe you're tempted to buy followers, but don't. It doesn't make sense. Instagram algorithm can detect that. And if you think hiring someone on Fiverr to get you organic followers, you are wrong. Most of them, if not all, use bots or fake followers that only waste your money as you won't have real audience with real engagement and hence human customers. Let's get started. I assume you already chosen a niche and you know what your page will be about. First, set goals. Setting goals before starting is important to get the bigger picture and know how to go about creating the content. Why do you want to build an audience? Is it to get more clients, customers, YouTube views or something else? As I'm showing you this in practice, here is my goal. I'm building an Instagram audience organically with no ads or paid traffic to hopefully convert some of them to loyal customers or digital products I will be creating in the near future. The second is the name of the page. Choose a name so it has some keywords. It is important that it is a searchable name so people can find you. This is not your username that appears in bold on the top, but the name under your profile picture. It may be obvious to some of you, but it's not for someone who don't use Instagram professional page. My page name, I have chosen a simple one, Online Entrepreneur. It is not original, but it does the job, I guess. Third one is search your target audience such as age, gender, geographic location, cultural references, what groups on social media they like or dislike, what they follow on Reddit, Quora, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and so on. To be able to pull that data, you need to go to popular pages and check the comments on those social media and check their profiles and comments to be able to know what they like and what they don't. As for myself, I know I will target audience of both genders aged between 20 and 50. First audience I want to build are people who are new to making money online, but those who know that is not easy and a lot of work needs to be done to achieve their goals. Some of them are starting new online business, either product or service based, or even coaching. Also, maybe a beginner who wants to become an influencer, or a person who wants to work to build and grow multiple streams of income online. This is very basic information about the audience I want to build. I will start doing proper audience research as soon as I have some data from insights, that is, Instagram analytics. Fourth one is content. Content on Instagram falls under one of the four types. Information, entertainment, education and connection. And we have a variety of tools on Instagram at our disposal to use for audience engagement. Such as posts, reels, Instagram TV live, stories, carousels. It may be confusing which one to use as a beginner, so I did some research 
Apparently, reels and carousels posts are the most effective to get audience engagement when used regularly, but other types are also important and should be used, and I will show you later how often I will use each. With regular feed posts, you can use a nice picture and write a good caption in the following format. The hook. You have to know how to attract the reader attention. The format. It has to be easy to read and in some paragraphs and the font should be easy to read. And the tone of the voice should be relevant to what you're trying to say. The last part should be the call to action. Um, you should entice them to comment, like, share or DM you. Keywords should be added to this caption along with hashtags. And here is the content marketing strategy that I will be using to create my page content. In the next video, I'll show you how I'm going to write and plan one week worth of content for my new Instagram page. But now let's just focus on the strategy. First, identify viral content from competitor pages. Obviously, don't copy people's content, but you can get ideas. Remember, you always have to provide quality content. You have to give people value so they can follow you. Depending on your niche, usually educational content is always appreciated by people. The how-to type. But they tend to get bored of the same type of content if that's all what you post. You need to spice it up with some personal short stories maybe, with some behind the scenes for example, you know, something to kind of break the barrier between you and them. For example, you talk about your feeling, fears, if you have a brand account, you talk about some challenges that you're facing. People who actually engage with you with this type of content have the potential to become super fans. Instagram algorithm recognizes. To boost the engagement and build a relationship with your audience, add questions, quizzes, competitions, and also reply to their comments. This content can be put as carousel posts that are graphically pleasing and have a nice flow to them. Or from now and then, put regular feed posts with a nice picture in a caption where you hook the people and actually get some education across. So just kind of break the pattern. In, in the reels, you should put engaging topic, attractive thumbnails and background images, and some music. I'm going to experiment with all the theory here I just mentioned, but first I need to plan how much of each type of content I'm going to post in what format. Then I'll test it for some time. Once I have some data to look into and analyze, I'll be able to tell you what works and what doesn't. So I'll add more of what works. For example, we'll make sure to reuse the carousel posts more often than regular posts or a set on a certain day and less regular posts throughout the week, for example. So enough of theory. Now let's put in practice what we just learned. I'm going to try and write first Instagram post and let's, let's get started. Let's do it. I searched a bit and I thought, why not start with the six skills any digital marketer should know, aimed at beginners, of course. I started designing the post. On the first page, I added the title in large font to grab attention. I used the brand colors, added a picture to make it a little bit more interesting with an arrow pointing toward Instagram swiping direction to see the next page. I added the logo and the username. If you like, you can be one of the first followers on eWealth Magnet, our page on Instagram. I'm not a designer, I'm just trying my best to make it look okay. On the second page and a third, I added the six skills. This is the result. Let me know what you think of this first ever post. Next is the caption. I've started the caption with a simple title. If the design of the first page was good enough to make them click the post, they should hopefully be interested to read beyond the title. Next, I add a little bit more on each skill.
ended the caption with a question and call to action and asked the reader to like, save and share the post. I then searched some medium and small hashtags and included them at the end of the post. In the next video I will plan a whole week worth of posts and schedule them for automatic posts. Thank you for watching.